Like other species, humans continually move their eyes. We shift our gaze via rapid eye movements, known as saccades, two to three times every second. That's more frequently than our hearts beat. While watching this five minute video, you will make around 900 saccades. We make saccades because the sensor at the back of the eye is not uniform. Unlike a camera that can capture external scenes in a single shot, the retina only has a tiny area capable of high resolution, which is known as the fovea. Even though we normally do not pay attention to this, vision becomes progressively more blurred further away from the fovea. Thus, we need to shift the fovea via saccades between points of interest to acquire detailed visual information about the external world. Interestingly, vision seems suppressed during saccades, leaving us unaware of the translation of the image on the retina during the gaze shift, a phenomenon known as saccadic suppression. You can experience this by looking at yourself in the mirror while you shift gaze back and forth between your two eyes. No matter how many times you try, you will never be able to see your own eyes move, but can easily see the eye movements of somebody else. Eye movements not only relocate gaze, but also temporarily modulate visual flow impinging on the retina. That is, they transform a stationary external scenes into a movie on the retina. Temporal modulations play a critical role in visual perception, as you can experience by looking at the image while it is in static or in motion. In this study, we examined the characteristics of the spatio-temporal information delivered to the retina by saccades. In the Active Perception Lab at the University of Rochester, we study how motor behaviors, including eye movement, contributes to the acquisition and processing of visual information. We use advanced system for tracking gaze and controlling retina stimulation during eye movements which enable us to accurately reconstruct the luminous flow impinging on the retina. In the first part of the study, we examined how saccades restructure external spatial information into a spatio-temporal flow on the retina. Natural scenes are composed primarily of coarse structures, and less so of fine details. Statistically, the power at different spatial frequencies follows the pattern 1 over k squared. So what happens to this power distribution when a saccade occurs? By moving the image over the retina, a saccade transforms the power of the input stimulus from space to time. That is, it redistributes the spatial power of a stationary scene across temporal frequencies of the retina. On average, as saccades occur over natural scenes, this distribution has very specific characteristics, which depends on the spatial frequency of the image. At high spatial frequencies, the luminance flow entering the eye follows the structure of the external scene. However, at low spatial frequencies, an important departure occurs. The temporal reformatting resulting from saccades flattens out the original power distribution in natural scenes. This equalization of power across spatial frequencies is a phenomenon known as spectral whitening. It is a standard technique in communication and signal processing to remove redundancy in signals and improve the efficiency of data transferring. This two regime pattern becomes evident if we integrate power across temporal range of human sensitivity. This is the amount of spatial power that is effective in driving the visual system. Surprisingly, all saccades yield qualitatively similar redistributions, which approach the reformatting given by the intersaccadic eye motion for very small amplitudes. This result implies the input to the retina changes in a systematic manner following a saccade. To illustrate this dynamics, here we show a simulation of retina neurons response following a saccade. The external stimulus is a group of gratings at different spatial frequencies. As shown by this movie, the low frequency texture emerged first due to this cutic transient. After that, high frequency gratings appear later in the fixation because of the temporal modulation delivered by the intersecondic motion of the eye. Thus, the way we move our eye contributes to the course to find analysis of the visual scene. In summary, saccades play an important computational role in vision by formatting the input flow. At low spatial frequencies, saccades discard redundant information in natural scenes. 
the bandwidth of this whitening effect increases as saccade amplitude decreases, and it oscillates during the natural cycle of saccades and fixation.